Okay, so check this out. So as we were looking at this um, business or, or this uh, keyword, look at the top three individuals that are showing up in this spot. Parsons Team, River House Properties, and Manhattan Property Management. I mean, look, just look at all of these. So they're all obviously, from, from the trained mind's eye, is that they're all obvious in uh, direct violation of Google's, Google's guidelines. This is not a company name. Think of NAP, name, address, and phone number. So you can definitely do a, a search on the Parsons Team um, to check and see if going through the state or the county business license records and, and searching for this business name. Now, the Parsons team may be part of a business name and it may not even be a name that is registered. So when it's not a licensed business name that is registered through the county, that is in violation of Google's guidelines. We can actually report these to through our person at Google and have them have them basically we can have them delete it. Let's go through the other terms of service that can be broken that would allow us to have a company removed so that the people that are watching this is the most important thing that we can share with you guys. Okay. And we go over this with all of our clients almost every time we meet we meet with them on a strategy session. Yes. So I, I copied the address directly from the Google My Business listing. I did a Google search because sometimes what I see when I do a search like this is, yes, you get the street view, but as you scroll down through these listings here in the organic area, it shows that, it might show, not this one, but just giving you some examples that it's a home address. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom home address, or it's apartment building, or a condo. So that is in direct violation of Google's guidelines because you are not to put a home address live for the world to see on your Google My Business page and act as if it's a business location. Some companies do that because they recognize that certain zip codes, certain areas within the neighborhood are where they want to show up. So, so, so that's, that's one way that we know that we can turn a business in for violating Google's guidelines. Another option to do is to look at the street view because with the street view, sometimes where businesses are in smaller shops, you actually have a signage out on, on the front of your um, office building. Or I can go as far as zooming in to see what is listed on the uh, storefront entrance to see what the business name is listed there as well to tie it with the address. But here, lucky enough for me, <laughs> this um, uh, photo is showing up for that address. So this is more of, uh, of, of proof for me that this is not the actual business name that is tied with that Google My Business listing. Therefore, we then move forward to the next step of contacting Google and really pointing this information out as far as why that business should is, is misrepresented on Google Maps. This would be a reason for submission to be to have that company removed. This is something that's been going on potentially for years and years and years, whereby these businesses have been literally taking phone calls from your business to the tune of maybe hundreds of phone calls and website visits to your business. This is a significant opportunity for companies that are real companies doing real business that actually have been around for quite some time. That's the kind of companies that we work with and that we will only work with. And the strategies that we implement which are white hat, we like to call them. Black hat is an example of what we're seeing with the Parsons team and Riverhouse properties, et cetera, where they're breaking the rules knowingly in order to game the system, in order to rank ahead of the legitimate businesses. You know, it'd be really important for people to know if they want to get more information, you know, they can, they can work with us and, and we, you know, we've got a membership site. We make it 
very, very economical to work with us. Uh, it's, you know, it's $59 a month for people to work with us. And uh, we've got a free case study here that Crystal's showing on her screen that you can get access to that's constantly updated. And, um, and we're even offering for the first month is just a dollar membership to get access to Crystal and I four times a month on a Zoom call just like this. I mean, that's unheard of. We just want to help more companies understand how this is happening so that, so that the right companies can be served up on Google and, and be represented correctly um, in the search results so that, so that you know, you're, you're able to help more people. You know, we want, we want to match up good businesses with, with the people that are, that are out there. And so that's, you know, that's what we're, we're here to do. And we've been doing this for, you know, over a decade. Um, and on this, all you got to do is just click the blue button um, in order to get the membership offer. And it's just a dollar offer. And um, you can cancel at any time, 29 day offer. And um, yeah, we'd love to help you. I mean, let us know what, what questions you have and you know, we will you know, answer any questions you have. Uh, you can put any comments below um, this, this uh, video and then also um, you know, text or email us and uh, we'll answer your questions. All right, thanks.